Good evening, and welcome to the Minnesota State University School of Nursing December 2020 Pinning Celebration. My name is Dr. Marilyn Swan, and I'm an associate professor at the School of Nursing, and it is my pleasure to be your MC for this evening. This evening, I'm greeting you from Ostrander Auditorium on the campus of Minnesota State University, Mankato. While I am unmasked, the crew is masked, socially distanced, and they're following all safety protocols. Now on with the show. At this time, I would like to recognize those individuals who have special positions within the university and are joining this celebration of our graduating seniors completion of the nursing curriculum. Interim Provost, Dr. Matt Cecil. Greetings, everyone. My name is Matt Cecil, and I serve as Interim Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Minnesota State University, Mankato. It's my privilege to welcome you all to the MSU School of Nursing December 2020 Virtual Pinning Ceremony. This ceremony holds enormous significance welcoming new graduates into the community of nurses. On behalf of President Richard Davenport, I want to share my congratulations for all you've accomplished, as well as thanks on behalf of everyone in our university community for the dedication to caring for others that you have demonstrated through your choice to become a nurse. I hope you, your families and friends, and other loved ones enjoy and appreciate the significance of this ceremony. We are all so proud of you and can't wait to see what you do next. Have a great evening, best of luck in the future, and thank you. College of Allied Health and Nursing Dean, Dr. Christine Rutherford. Congratulations to the uh, School of Nursing December 2020 graduates. Um, as your Dean, Chris Rutherford, I am so proud to acknowledge your accomplishments. These have been challenging times I, I fully appreciate, but I am so proud that, uh, that you stuck with it and you made it through and you've been successful. So I celebrate you and your accomplishments. Um, and I'm proud to call you one of our alumna um, and al al some of our alumni, alumnus and alumna. Um, I also want to point out um, that um, Diane Witt, one of your professors, coined a phrase that I use whenever I talk to uh, graduates of programs in the College of Allied Health and Nursing, that um, I, I encourage you to think about giving an hour, give an hour of your time, but do it in a donation, a money donation. Um, once you get your very first job, which I'm sure all of you will, um, calculate your hourly wage. You might be a salaried person or you may an hourly. So uh, whatever it, that hourly wage is, consider giving that back to the School of Nursing. Give an hour to acknowledge the, uh, the, the, what you have learned in your program and how it has prepared you to go out into the workforce and, and maybe continue your education. So I encourage you to consider to give an hour uh, and do it you know, once a year so that every year it may be uh, 36, $36, but do it every year. And then when you get a raise or you uh, go back to school and have a much higher salary, recalculate that and give us an hour. Uh, it will help students who are um, in, in need of scholarship money, um, the availability of more scholarships. So I encourage you to recognize your accomplishments by uh, giving an hour. And again, I, will, I hope you know how proud I am, um, and I'm so excited that you are um, going to be uh, participating in the uh, pinning ceremony, and I hope you attend the, the uh, graduation ceremony on Saturday as well. So congratulations. I'm very proud of what you've accomplished. School of Nursing Chairperson, Dr. Patricia Young. School of Nursing Pre-Licensure Program Coordinator and Experiential Learning Coordinator, Dr. Marilyn Swan, that's me, your MC. The 36 individuals listed on your program are being recognized this evening for successful completion of the nursing curriculum. Tomorrow, these young men and women will be awarded a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in nursing from Minnesota State University, Mankato. Tonight represents a special moment for the students and for the School of Nursing faculty each student will be presented with a School of Nursing pin reflecting the successful completion of the required curriculum that has prepared each student to practice as a professional nurse. This journey has involved three or more semesters of prerequisite courses, followed by four semesters within the nursing curriculum. 
It is with great pleasure that I introduce the graduating seniors of December 2020 School of Nursing. So graduates, during this unprecedented time, wherever you're at and with whoever you're with, I'm gonna ask you to stand up. And family and friends, I'd like you to applaud and give our heartfelt congratulations to the students. <laughs> Present this evening in the audience are members of the nursing faculty. Over the past two years, these professional nurses have shared their wisdom, cared for students, and engaged in expert teaching. As faculty, we celebrate and we applaud the achievements of this group of graduating seniors. Now, on with the celebration. It is my pleasure to introduce Eric Molina. Eric is the student speaker who has been selected by his classmates to represent his class this evening. Please welcome Eric Molina. Hi everyone. My name is Eric Molina and it's been a joy learning from you, learning next to you, and learning next to your loved ones. My heart is welled with emotion knowing that I can't be with you in person today, this day that we've struggled for. There is consolation though in knowing that I can speak to you now and to share some parting sentiments as you graduate with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. First and foremost, I would like to say thank you so much for giving me this honor to speak to and for our class as we move forward into our lives as nurses. Our cohort has been through major transitions in our education, personal lives, and the in-between of our friendships from which I have learned so much. Sometimes an end is a beginning and destruction is a form of creation. At this end, we are handed a nation desperate for care and connection from a system that has been insufficient to provide. That's an incredible weight on us as we enter this world, but we knew it would be on our shoulders when we started this journey, and current times have made that all the more clear. Nursing is a profession that stands in the middle of destructive forces, visible and invisible, and assists in the creation of healthier families and individuals. So in writing the speech, there are many thoughts that I wish I could share, but there are a few that really stuck out to me. There's nowhere better to start than reflecting on where we began and where we are now. How could any of us forget that first week of nursing school when 40 of us were crammed into that tiny room on the top floor of the CSB? And wow, <laughs> how far we've come, because I'm pretty sure 40 people in a room is illegal now. <laughs> We need to be healthfully proud of ourselves in this academic journey we've completed because it has been tiring and trying. One of my favorite quotes by C.S. Lewis is when he says, humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. We must be proud of ourselves for this achievement so that we may provide the care our patients need. Without some level of pride, we may lose sight of who we are in the weight of that nursing places on us, lest we become drained and solemn. Patients want nurses who are confident in themselves and able to perform their duties competently. So carry yourself with pride, but serve with humility. That leads me to my next thought. I have no doubt that in our clinical experiences or other work experiences, we have had rude run-ins with patients or healthcare professionals. For instance, one time when I worked as a nurse, nursing assistant at a long-term care facility in Mankato, a resident called me skunkhead because of a white stripe of hair that I have. Um, and it is not dyed. It is natural. <laughs> but while that was much more of a humorous moment, I have also seen my fellow workers hurt by comments patients or coworkers have made. Nurses sometimes work with people in their worst moments. So it's important to remember to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and even slower to become angry. It amazes me how healing a listening ear can be for people. Remember also how easily the body speaks. So watch your patient, but also watch yourself in order to communicate compassion and peace to people in distress. I want to leave you with one more thought. 
Healthcare can be overwhelming. We've known that since day one and probably before. With that in mind, I beg you, do not lose yourselves in it. As I've had the honor to learn besides you, I have found the uniqueness in each of you and in how you practice nursing. Compassion is such a broad word because it is demonstrated through actions we take continually. It cannot be demonstrated through a single nicety, but by ongoing kindness. What a blessing it has been to see how you all care with a genuine heart for the people you serve. Your care is beautiful and healing because of the individual you have become and are becoming. Be sure to also keep up your passions that aren't just nursing related and please stay yourselves. For my final remarks, I need to say personal thank yous and I hope that they resonate in your hearts as well. First, I need to say thank you to my mom and my grandma who have always valued my education and have given me the opportunity to become a nurse. Thank you to my wife, Cassie, for loving me and being patient with me during this last semester <laughs> and teaching me how important it is to take care of myself. I also want to thank my sister, Mary, for her patience and her giving heart that has gotten me through this nursing school. I also want to say thank you to Haley <laughs> for becoming one of my best friends over these semesters. I couldn't have done it without you. Lastly, thank you to all the nursing faculty that have equipped us for this career. Be proud of the nurses you have produced these four semesters. <laughs> We're gonna change lives. Now, my friends, know I am so proud of you as we graduate. The time we have had together will continue to resonate in my heart. I love you all and best wishes. Thank you, Eric. It is now my esteemed pleasure to introduce Dr. Jihad Adwan, our faculty speaker this evening. Dr. Adwan is an assistant professor at Minnesota State University, Mankato. He earned a three-year diploma followed by a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree in Gaza, Palestine. Dr. Adwan has lived in the United States for over 20 years and earned a Master of Science in Nursing in 2000 followed by a doctor in philosophy, the PhD, um, from the University of Minnesota in 2010. He received a certificate in leadership in health information and technology for health professionals from the University of Minnesota in 2013. Dr. Edwan has taught for over 10 years at the University of Minnesota and has served as chair and faculty member of the Health Sciences Division at the Higher Colleges of Technology in the United Arab Emirates. In 2017, he started to work as a pediatric nurse at the University of Minnesota Masonic Children's Hospital in Minneapolis. In addition, he has served as a consultant to a partnership project between the University of Minnesota and Kabul University of Medical Sciences in Afghanistan. Jihad has four children and two cats. Please join me in welcoming our faculty speaker, Dr. Jihad Adwan. Hello and welcome to this very special December 2020 pinning ceremony. My name is Jihad Adwan. I'm an assistant professor at the School of Nursing. I've had the honor to teach this cohort of graduates in the classroom and in the pediatric clinicals. It is a great honor for me to deliver these remarks on this special occasion. So thank you to everyone in the organizing committee, students, faculty, and staff. As a professional procrastinator myself, I kept wondering what I should be talking about today until the last minute. I wanted to make a big speech with big words, but then I thought, let's make it short and sweet. Simpler is better. Who really wants to listen to someone who is dressed up at the top while wearing sweatpants, for example. It's a sign of the time we live in these days. But the good thing is, you'll be telling your kids and your kids' kids 
that you graduated in the year 2020. I can only say that it's been one heck of a year, to say the least. It has, it has brought many challenges to us as a university community, as it did to our communities that we live in today. The year 2020 has brought also opportunities for resilience, adaptability, and growth. Your empathy and care for others has never been deeper. Your spirit of hard work to reach your goal has never been higher. Your determination to succeed has never been stronger. Despite all the challenges that and the heartaches of the pandemic, you soldiered on armed with the strong belief that what you are aspiring for matters to you, to your family, and to the society as a whole. And yet, here we are celebrating your success. So a heartfelt congratulations to all the graduates on reaching this milestone in their professional lives. As you cross the first threshold into being full-fledged nurses, you have the power to leave your mark on the world. But before you go out there and start changing the world, and no matter the hardships, please know that this is the time for you to celebrate your success. This is the time to share your joy of great accomplishments. This is the time to thank your families and loved ones for their support. Please look around you and thank someone who has helped you and supported you throughout this journey. And above all, this is the time for you to start painting your future with the most vibrant colors. How do I change the world, you might ask? One simple starting step, dream big. Harness the power of your imagination. Cultivate your passion for inquiry. Ask questions. Remember, there is no such thing as a dumb question. And yes, listen to the audible. Harriet Tubman once said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. I guess I'm using some big words here too. Very soon, you will step into the vast world of nursing and healthcare. You will learn to fly solo, and it will be scary at times. But I'm confident that you've taught, you've been taught well, and you worked very hard to get to where you are today. Keep an open mind and a heart for learning and growing. And while you learn new things and learn new things you will, don't just take things for granted. What we do today as nurses is based on what we know at the moment. That does not mean we stop right there. Knowledge is evolving. Nursing practice is evolving. The whole world around us is evolving. So keep your creative hats on, ask a lot of why questions and what if questions. Imagine doing things differently. And above all, keep your patient's well-being at heart. Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited, whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progr progress, and gives birth to evolution. And that means a lot to us in this world that is changing rapidly these days. In your journey, I'm sure you have met some good friends. I personally formed the best friendships during my nursing school days. The memories of those days live forever because friendship transcends time and space. Friendships that have continued until today and beyond, so keep those connections alive. Build on them and nurture them. Cherish those memories and hold those friendships dear. You know who you, you never know who you will be working with in the future, but you will be in a position to meet new people and form new friendships but nursing school friends cannot be replaced. In these difficult times, nurses around the world, and soon you will be, 
battling the pandemic, keeping your patients' safety and well-being will be an act of unmatched heroism and selflessness. Not all superheroes come with capes. Millions of those hero nurses are in scrubs and PPE right now, caring for their fellow human beings, regardless of their age, gender, ethnicity, or any other factor that separates us. Have confidence that following the best evidence in practice is the best way out. Believe in yourself and have faith and fight the good fight. We will eventually get through this together. Again, congratulations and best wishes to you for a brilliant future. Thank you and have a happy and safe holiday season. Thank you, Dr. Edwan. This time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Patricia Young, who will share with you the meaning of the pen. Hello, my name is Tricia Young, and I'm the chairperson in the School of Nursing. It's my pleasure to share with you the meaning of the School of Nursing pin. You'll see that Minnesota State University Mankato is written in gold, bold letters on the band of blue in a circle. School of Nursing is written in smaller letters. This symbolizes that the School of Nursing is a part of the larger university. An open book in the background represents our goal of lifelong learning. And finally, the lighted torch sends out rays of light just as each of us will bring light and hope to the people we serve. I wish you the best. Congratulations for completing your baccalaureate degree. Students are members of the National Student Nurses Association and are recognized with blue and white honor cords. School of Nursing chapter leaders will receive a blue, white, and gold honor cord. Our local chapter leaders graduating this semester include Isabel Nocton, Jake Anderson, and Caitlin Boucher. Now, I would like to introduce Isabel Nocton, President of the Minnesota State University Mankato Student Nurses Association Chapter. Hello and good evening to all of the family, friends, loved ones, and faculty who are here to celebrate with us this evening. And of course, hello to my fellow classmates. My name is Isabel Nocton, or Izzy Nocton, and I'm the graduating president of Minnesota State University's Student Nurses Association or SNA. SNA is an RSO or recognized student organization on campus that hopes to provide students with a knowledge of nursing through participation in many events and activities such as volunteering in the community, attending monthly SNA meetings, going to state and national conventions, hosting fundraisers, and of course, hearing from different healthcare groups and organizations and people uh, about the world of nursing and ways that students can get involved. We hope that SNA prepares students to transition into the professional world of nursing after they graduate. SNA is a group that's available to all pre-nursing students and nursing students who are in the program, and we encourage all of our students to get involved. So SNA is run by a group of students from different semesters in the program who have been elected to their position. And every month SNA hosts a meeting where we update students on events and activities that are happening. We let them know about SNA's finances or what we have planned. Um, we give them time if they want to ask questions. We do some fun, engaging activities or little quizzes to help older students prepare for the NCLEX or some of the younger students to prepare for the T's and HESI for their admission into the program. We also always have a guest speaker whether that's a faculty member or a nurse from the community or just an organization in the community who comes and speaks to the students and gives them an opportunity to maybe hear about a field of nursing that they're not familiar with or a resource in the community that they didn't know about. So things may have looked a little different this year because of COVID-19, but we are very glad to have been able to host our meetings over Zoom to allow students to come and join these meetings from the comfort of their own homes um, and still get these important trainings and information, as well as we've been hosting our volunteer events in a way that's safe for students. SNA is something that I have been very involved with since my freshman year. Some of my classmates may say over-involved. 
Um, and I thought I would just take a minute to share a little bit about my, my personal experience with SNA and really what SNA has meant to me. So as a freshman, I started out, I went to the first September meeting my freshman year, um, really just looking as a way to get involved and meet some new people, as well as for one of our classes, we had to attend a certain number of events and I thought, what a great way to start. Um, but little did I know that it was gonna be so much more than that for me. So I got involved right away and started attending the meetings every month and doing the volunteer activities um, because it really felt like I could then find my home in Mankato. I had two board members who were older than me at the time who recognized that in me um, and encouraged me in the spring of 2019, right after I'd gotten into the program, to come with them to the state convention. And I was like, is that really how I wanted to spend my Saturday? But they were like, don't worry, you're going to love it. It's going to be great. And I was like, okay, I'll go. And so I went and we had some incredible guest speakers and we went to all these different breakout sessions where I got to learn so much from so many different nurses. Uh, towards the end, they were electing their new state board and they had some positions that they needed filled and that they were accepting from the floor recommendations or from the floor um, candidates. And so Taylor and Sarah, the two members of the board who were with me um, among other students, kind of put an elbow to my side, both literally and figuratively saying, Izzy, we really think you should do this. Izzy, we think you would be really good at this. And I was like, there's no way I can't do it. I can't be on a state board. I'm just a wee little first semester in the program student. Um, but they ended up convincing me and I ran from the floor and I was elected. While I was serving on the state board, MSU had the opportunity for the first time in the history of MSU to send students as delegates or voting members to the National State Nurse Association convention in Salt Lake City. This was an awesome opportunity as we'd never um, had delegates or voting students part of the House of Delegates at this convention. Now, the National Student Nurse Association is a 65,000 plus student organization that encompasses all of the student nurse associations at the school level, the state level, and then they all come together for the national level. And so this was a very big deal for our school to be able to send students for the first time. I thankfully got to be one of those students who attended and represented our school. While we were at the national convention, we were attending a ton of incredible breakout sessions, going through trainings and just learning about the national level of the Student Nurses Association, as well as opportunities in the world of nursing, making connections. Um, and we, as students who were there, absolutely loved it. While we were there, the National Student Nurses Association was looking to elect their new board of directors. I had Sarah and Taylor with me. They said, Izzy, you could do this. You could be on the national board. And I said, no way. You already convinced me to be on the state board. There's no way I can be on the national board. I am so thankful that I was elected to the National Student Nurses Association Board of Directors as Director North. I also got to serve as the membership chair. So I got to work with two other members of the Board of Directors to form the membership committee where we worked together to plan strategies and theme and programs to help support our 60,000 plus members um, and get them involved at the school, state, and national level. I also got to sit on the committees of Image of Nursing, which was our newsletter and communications and social media side of the NSNA, as well as the Population and Global Health Committee, which looked at resolutions that were voted on by the delegates at the national convention to ensure that as an organization, we were doing everything we could to support what our students believed in. I am so thankful for my time just as a board of director member, as well as the other opportunities. I had the incredible opportunity as serving the only representative from the national board, as well as a representative from Mankato, representing my school and the state of Minnesota as the only student invited to the LGBTQIA plus health summit in New York City. I was blown away at the opportunity to go and meet with top level nursing faculty and healthcare workers uh, at a summit in New York and to speak on behalf of the National Student Nurse Association and students to really show what passion and heart that all of the students at the NSNA have for the community. I am so thankful for all of the opportunities that SNA has given me at the state, national, and school level. Being on all of these different boards has helped me make so many connections and build relationships that I never would have experienced 
um, had I just stayed at the school level. And I learned what it means to work with 60,000 students to really have the student voice be heard. At the school level, the Student Association is run by an incredible group of students who make up the board and a wonderful group of students that I've had the honor and pleasure of working with over the last two semesters serving as president and the last semester before that serving as vice president. And I am so thankful for everything that SNA has accomplished by sending their first delegates to the National Convention, having a second student from Mankato being elected to the state board, as well as this last spring at the Recognized Student Organization Leadership Awards, SNA, our school chapter, was nominated and received the Exemplary Service Award. And I am so proud and thankful for all of the students in SNA who have volunteered at our events and really shown the community and the school what SNA is about and what we represent, which we hope is that we are caring and loving to those that are around us. Two people that I would like to specifically take a second to thank and to mention are two of my fellow classmates who are graduating this year who have served on the board with me. Jake has been our treasurer for the past few, three semesters, I believe, and he has done an incredible job. He has been in charge of all of the books and keeping track of our credit card and making our orders and doing everything that he can to ensure that he's being very financially responsible. Caitlin has been one of our volunteer coordinators and really I believe that so much of the praise and honor that we got for our exemplary service award goes to her. I'm so thankful that she's been our volunteer coordinator. So I just wanna say a huge thank you and shout out to Jake and Caitlin for everything that you guys have done. You have been amazing. Another way that SNA likes to recognize our students is through cords. So students who have been active members of SNA receive graduation cords. And this means that if they're receiving the cord, they have attended at least 10 SNA events during the time just in their program. So over the last four semesters, we get to present them with these cords and recognize them for all of the wonderful work that they've done and that they've been an active member of both SNA and the community in Mankato. As we go and we move, into the world of nursing, we graduate and we take our boards. I encourage all my fellow classmates to step into the world of professional organizations and nursing and really see how you can get involved at the hospital or clinic or wherever you decide to work, or even getting involved in the community and volunteering. I am so thankful to have spent the last couple of years with you guys, and I have cherished all the laughs that we have shared, the times that we've cried, been stressed out, but Either way, I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to have served as the president and for all the opportunities that SNA has given me. And I'm so thankful for you guys as a graduating class. Congrats, everyone. It is now time for that special part of the evening where we celebrate each graduate individually. To honor and recognize the achievements of each graduate, a picture and short biography written by the student will be displayed and read. Please join me in welcoming the December 2020 School of Nursing class. Jake Anderson. Jake Anderson would like to thank his family, friends, and faculty who have provided their enduring support and advice throughout his educational journey. During his time at Minnesota State University Mankato, Jake has served as the pre-licensure program representative and Student Nurses Association's treasurer for which he will receive leadership cords. Jake is also graduating with honors and is a member of Sigma Theta Tau Honor Society. He is optimistic about obtaining a job at Mayo Clinic Rochester following graduation and officially starting his nursing career. Jake will be pinned by Dr. Marilyn Swan. Raquel Beckett. Raquel Beckett came to Minnesota State University Mankato from Farmington, Minnesota. Raquel became a certified nursing assistant or CNA after her father's diagnosis of lung, kidney, and brain cancer in order to help provide him with adequate care and found that she loved being a CNA and taking care of her father. While doing so, Raquel never thought of the help um, that she provided as work. In other words, the ability and availability to provide needed care for individuals every day showed to be a blessing in disguise and will soon become a reality as Raquel finishes her journey at MSU Mankato. Upon graduating, Raquel plans to work in the ICU-PCU. Raquel is beyond thankful 
and has felt blessed to have such amazing nursing faculty, colleagues, family members, friends, preceptors Jordan and Jamie at Abbott Northwestern Hospital, and her boyfriend that have helped and supported her endlessly throughout her journey. For two and a half years, Raquel has worked at Mayo Clinic Health Systems Hospital in Mankato and would like to specifically thank the nursing staff and floor managers, Lindsay Hughes and Ashley Brooks. An additional and special thank you goes to Raquel's father, Harold Beckett, for the giving of his endless love, support, and life lessons. Overall, thank you to all that helped support Raquel to achieve her dreams and graduate from MSU Mankato with her BSN in nursing. Raquel will be pinned by Cassie Nelson. Caitlin Boucher. Caitlin will be starting her nursing career in the float pool at Abbott Northwestern. After a couple years of getting experience, she would like to try out travel nursing. Her long-term goal is to obtain her DNP and become a certified nurse midwife. Caitlin would like to thank each and every family member and friend who helped to her to get to this point. She would also like to say a special thanks to her parents for supporting her and to her grandma for buying her her first Litman, which is a stethoscope. Throughout her journey in nursing, Caitlin has remained active in her community and outside of her community volunteering with various groups. She has also remained active in the SNA and was volunteer coordinator from second to fourth semester in the program. Caitlin will be pinned by Emily Walker. Jacob Case. Jacob will be the third child of Mark and Barb Case to join the healthcare profession, following his brother Patrick, who's a paramedic, and sister Kirby, a speech language pathologist. Jacob would like to give thanks to his family, friends, coworkers, and classmates for normalizing and making this chaotic time a bit more manageable. Jacob will be continuing his undergraduate education next semester, completing a baccalaureate of science degree in biology in May of 2021. Finally, Jacob wishes the best of luck and good health to his classmates, professors, and supporting staff as we all move forward in these uncertain times. Jacob is being pinned by his coworker, Christy Valley. Natalie Carteau. Natalie is a fun, bubbly woman who enjoys spending her free time with her two dogs, her family, and her fiance, Chris. Her passion for nursing came from always carrying a baby in her car seat around everywhere she went and her mentorship with an OB nurse her senior year of high school. Natalie's journey was spent with her amazing friends and clinical rotations at the School of Nursing. Natalie would like to thank Bailey, Stephanie, Lauren, Izzy, Callie, and Courtney for the countless hours of study sessions and the laughter she needed. She would also like to thank her mother, father, sister, and Chris for supporting her through her journey. Natalie and Chris plan to move to Fort Carson in Colorado Springs, Colorado, or Fort Benning in Columbus, Georgia, depending on where, on where Chris gets stationed. She's looking forward to starting her nursing career on an OB unit. Natalie is being pinned by Dr. Tammy Neiman. Jackson Dean. Jackson appreciates the support and encouragement he received throughout his journey from his family, friends, and all the faculty. With everyone's help, he has grown personally and professionally and has gained a lot of valuable experience that will help him excel in his nursing career. He is excited for the next step in his career and is very thankful for the people that have helped him along the way. After graduation, he hopes to work in the float pool or as a medical surgical nurse. Jackson will be pinned by his friend, Eli Dory. Michaela Dio. Michaela would like to thank her parents, sister, aunt, best friend, and boyfriend for keeping her sane and sending constant love and support throughout nursing school. They helped her through the tough times and were there to celebrate the good times. She really cannot thank you all enough. Kayla hopes to work at Mayo Clinic in Rochester following graduation. Kayla is being pinned by her aunt and role model, Tina Locke. Bethany Dindorf. 
Bethany would like to thank her family, friends, and faculty for all the support throughout her nursing school journey. She has accepted a surgical unit RN position at St. Luke's Hospital in her hometown of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She hopes that to then become a travel nurse once she has gained the needed experience. Her Aunt Shelley, who is pinning her, has been a major inspiration as she recently won Hartford Hospital's Nursing Award for the Art of Caring. Bethany is being pinned by her aunt, Shelley Uthgenot. Michaela Dreyer. Michaela would like to thank her family and friends for all the support and encouragement that led to this graduation of nursing school. She plans to work on a medical surgical floor after graduation. Michaela is being pinned by Megan Moen, her nurse mentor from Fairview Ridges, Burnsville. Taylor Factor. Taylor would like to thank her family, especially her mom and dad, who supported her and helped her throughout her nursing school journey. She would also like to thank her friends for all of the encouragement, support, and hilarious memories. Lastly, she would like to thank the nursing faculty for helping her throughout her journey and for helping her to graduate on time and by making modifications to the program due to COVID. Taylor plans to apply to either Mayo Clinic Health Systems in Mankato or St. Francis Regional Medical Center in Shakopee after graduation. Taylor is being pinned by her mom, Piper Factor. Katrina Grass. Katrina would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her throughout nursing school. She truly could not have done it without them. It's been a long road for everyone. Katrina has accepted a position at United Hospital in St. Paul, working on the cardiac telemetry unit starting February 2021. Katrina was an active member in the Student Nurses Association and is receiving an SNA honor cord. Katrina is being pinned by her good friend, Sydney Schneider. Jennifer Haas. Jennifer would like to share her gratitude for all the support and encouragement her significant other, parents, and extended family provided during her challenging journey through the nursing program with twins. She hopes to inspire the girls to have the same resilience and perseverance through life. She would also like to sincerely thank the School of Nursing faculty and clinical instructors for the knowledge and wisdom she will use to deliver patient family-centered care. Lastly, Jennifer would like to thank her mentor for her guidance and advice that truly created a memorable experience. Congratulations to the nursing class of December 2020. Jennifer is being pinned by Kaylee Anderson. Taylor Hoffman. Taylor Hoffman is from Sleepy Eye, Minnesota. Her love for nursing began when she started working as a certified nursing assistant during her senior year of high school. She knew that nursing was the career for her and decided to pursue it at Minnesota State University, Mankato. Taylor's preceptorship was at Abbott Northwestern in a level three trauma neurointensive care unit. After graduation, she plans on getting a job in a progressive care or medical surgical unit. Taylor is excited to graduate and to see where her nursing career takes her. She would like to thank her family, friends, boyfriend, and the nursing faculty at Minnesota State University. She wouldn't have been able to do it without their ongoing and continuous support. Cassie Nelson was Taylor's skills instructor during the first semester of the nursing program. Cassie has been a supportive, encouraging, and mentor figure to her throughout the nursing program. Taylor looks up to Cassie and admires her dedication to ensuring safe and quality patient care. Taylor is being pinned by Cassie Nelson. Brittany K. Brittany is very eager and excited to become a registered nurse. She would like to thank the people who have supported her during her nursing journey and give a special thank you to her parents, siblings, and all of her friends. It means so much to have the support of loved ones and to be able to celebrate this achievement with them. Brittany was a former member and captain of the Minnesota State University Mankato dance team. Brittany will start working as a registered nurse at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota on the neurosurgery post-op general care unit. Her family and friends could not be more proud of this accomplishment. 
Brittany is being pinned by her previous clinical instructor, Sarah Loken, who served as a wonderful mentor and teacher. Callie Lawrence. Callie would like to thank her family, especially her parents and grandparents, for all of their support, as well as the nursing faculty for their guidance throughout the nursing program. After graduation, she plans to work as an ICU nurse in the Twin Cities. Callie is being pinned by Beth Waters. Jansu Liu. Jansu cannot believe that she is already finishing her BSN. Time always goes by so fast, and it will be time for her to be now moving forward. Still, she remembers the first day of her nursing classes and how she said she wants to be a psychiatric nurse in the future. For now, she is still passionate about this area, but she wants to move forward with her master's degree in, in the future. But for the short-term goal is to study hard for the upcoming NCLEX exam and to get her RN license. Words cannot describe how thankful she is for her family who supported her through this rough road. She would like to extend a thank you to all professors, faculty, and RN men mentors who support and help her to achieve the nursing degree. She thanks you all for the sacrifices that you gave to help her accomplish her dreams. Jean Shu is being pinned by Marie Medina Lopez. Eric Molina, glory to God. In ordinary life, we hardly realize that we receive a great deal more than we give, and that is only with gratitude that life becomes rich. Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Eric will be pinned by Christine Singer. Vera Mangera. Vera was born in Kenya. She comes from a family of healthcare professionals, which sparked her interest in wanting to become a nurse. She loves nursing because nurses get to change lives and make a difference. Knowing that nurses are the number one trusted profession attests to the work they do. Her post-graduation plans are to work in the cities and earn some experience. Look for either going to medical school or completing an NP CRNA program. Besides school and work, she loves traveling and getting a taste of different cuisines, reading medical novels, and spending time with family and friends. She also has an interest in doing charity work outside the country to help families and communities have access to medical care. Vera is an active member of the Student Nurses Association and is receiving SNA honor cords. Vera will be pinned by her brother, George Mangera. Bailey Mum. Bailey would like to thank all of her friends and family for helping her through her nursing journey so far. Having an amazing support system made it so much easier to get through all the times of stress and uncertainty. She would also like to thank all of the nursing faculty for being another source of support and doing everything they could to help her succeed along the way, especially during the pandemic. Bailey's current plan after graduation is to move back to the St. Cloud area and obtain a job in either a medical surgical unit or a bone and joint unit. Bailey is an active member of the Student Nurses Association and the Sigma Theta Tau International Honor Society of Nursing. She will be receiving honor cords from both associations. Bailey will be pinned by Dr. Marilyn Swan. Courtney Myers. Courtney would like to thank her family and friends for their love and support throughout the nursing program. She would also like to thank the faculty for their support in the changes with COVID and working hard for us to succeed and graduate. After graduation, she hopes to work in Minneapolis or St. Paul in the emergency department. She is excited to start her professional nursing career. Courtney is being pinned by Ashley Engenbreitzen. Isabel Nocton. Isabel would like to thank her family for their endless support and encouragement throughout her time in nursing school. Today marks a special but bittersweet day for the family because it would have been her dad's 53rd birthday. He passed away three years ago and his battle and journey through cancer is what pushed and inspired Isabel to pursue nursing. Isabel also wants to thank the friends who made this journey alongside her. Thanks for all the laughter shared, tears shed, and the memories made together. Throughout Isabel's time in the nursing program, she participated in professional organizations and opportunities outside 
of the School of Nursing, including serving on the National Student Nursing Association Board of Directors. She would like to thank the faculty who supported her in balancing all of this along with classes and clinicals. After graduation, Isabel hopes to begin her career as a nurse by taking her nursing abroad, bringing together her love for traveling and for people. Isabel is an active member, member of the Student Nurses Association and is receiving the SNA Honor Cords and was inducted into Sigma Theta Tau International Honor Society of Nursing. Isabel is being pinned by her grandmother, Jane Nocton. Favor Wandu. Favor Wandu is a vibrant young woman from Nigeria. Favor considers herself to be loving, a forever student, lover of God, and an overall go-getter. She came to the United States to pursue a career in nursing. She is supported by her wonderful family, friends, and boyfriend. Favor plans to go on and work in an ICU unit in a hospital in Georgia. She hopes to further her education and become a CRNA. Her journey to be at the BSN has been full of laughter, tears, and joy. She has enjoyed her stay in Minnesota and looks forward to moving to Georgia. She is overjoyed to be on her last steps of becoming an RN. She wants to thank everyone that has supported her through thick and thin. She appreciates it all. Thank you. Favor is an active member in the Student Nurses Association and is receiving SNA Honor Cords. Favor is being pinned by Armid Okundro. Queen Okparanta. Queen is originally from Nigeria and very excited to graduate from Minnesota State University with her bachelor's in nursing. Queen's nursing journey has been nothing but incredible. Queen would like to give thanks to God Almighty for seeing her through these amazing four years, sending special thanks to her mom and dad for their prayers and financial support. She would also like to thank her lovely brother, um, Godwin, and sister Gloria for their support as well. She is so grateful for the wonderful friendships she developed while in nursing school. Could not have done it alone. She's sending special thanks to her roommates who gave her so much encouragement to finish strong. She plans to start out her career in a medical surgical area of nursing and intends to specialize in midwifery after a couple of years of gaining nursing experience. Queen is an active member of the Student Nurses Association and is receiving the SNA Honor Cords. Queen is being pinned by Marlon Tomlin. Duan Pham. Duan has always wanted to become an educator ever since she was young. However, Duan did not know which area she would be interested in until she became a nursing student, where she met all the amazing instructors who inspire her to be just like them. Duan would like to thank her friends and family for the immense support, and she would like to also thank the School of Nursing faculty and staff for their support throughout this nursing journey. Duan is being pinned by Sharia Mandandar. Stephanie Raymond. Though the last few semesters didn't go quite as planned, one thing Stephanie has learned throughout the course of the last couple of years in nursing school is the importance of adaptability. She wants to give a big thank you to her friends and family who have helped her get through the craziness of the past four years. Stephanie also wants to give a special shout out to the study and cry group. You all know who you are. Without you, nursing school would, been, would have been a lot less fun. In her future nursing practice, Stephanie is interested in working with trauma and critical patients. Stephanie is being pinned by Dr. Leslie Darmafall. Brittany Rushmeyer. Brittany would like to thank her family, friends, and faculty for their support and guidance throughout her nursing education. Brittany's grandmother, a retired registered nurse, is her role model and the person that inspires her to be successful in her future nursing career. She feels prepared and empowered to enter the nursing field in the midst of a pandemic, thanks to the nursing program at Minnesota State University, Mankato. After graduation, she hopes to work on a labor and delivery unit at a hospital near her hometown 
of Champlin, Minnesota. Brittany is being pinned by Mary Jo Morris. Juliana Scanlon. Juliana is from Casson, Manterville. She has always wanted to be a nurse ever since she was a little girl. She wants to thank her family, friends, and the nursing faculty for all the support they've provided her throughout nursing school. She would also like to give a special thanks to her mom who is pinning her. She has always looked up to her mom and she has been Juliana's biggest motivation throughout school. She has always supported and encouraged Juliana to follow her dreams. Juliana hopes to be half the nurse that she is one day. Juliana is being pinned by her mother, Susan Brand. Morgan Shaybert. Morgan would like to thank her family, especially her parents, boyfriend, and friends for their unconditional love and support throughout her nursing school journey. She plans to start her nursing career around her hometown of New Ulm following graduation and passing the NCLEX. Morgan is being pinned by Emily Altenhofen. Juliana Schwartz. Juliana would like to thank her family, friends, and faculty for all of their support and guidance throughout her nursing school journey. After graduation, she hopes to work at a hospital near her home in Green Isle, Minnesota, on an obstetric or pediatric unit. She is very excited to start her career as a registered nurse and cannot wait to make a difference in her patients' lives. Julia is being pinned by Miranda Miller. Krista Stimson. Krista will be starting off her nursing career in the PICU at Mayo Rochester and would like to continue her career as a travel nurse once she gets a few years of experience. The ultimate goal for her is to obtain her CRNA. Krista would like to extend a special thank you to her mom and those professors that empowered her, empowered her to be a strong patient advocate. Krista is an active member of the Student Nurses Association and is receiving an SNA honor cord. Krista is being pinned by Dr. Jihad Edwan. Joanna Torres. Joanna would like to thank her family, friends, especially her parents, for the perpetual support and encouragement. She would also like to thank the School of Nursing faculty and clinical instructors who have guided her learning and growth throughout the nursing program. To her fellow cohort members, she is grateful for the laughs shared and the memories made. Joanna is graduating with honors and is, and is an active member in the Student Nurses Association. She is receiving SNA honor cords. She would like to dedicate her achievements to her grandparents. Joanna will be pinned by her mother, Annabelle Torres. Hope Tucker. Hope wants to thank her family, friends, boyfriend, and family and her military family for all the support over the last couple of years. She is planning to commission as a flight nurse in the Minnesota Air National Guard. Hope will be pinned by Jennifer Rosetta. May Bang. May will be the first in her family to be graduating from a four-year university and obtaining her Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. She would like to give a special thanks to her loving parents and family for being her backbone and support system throughout her education. She would also like to thank everyone at the School of Nursing for their constant encouragement and guidance, despite COVID-19 slowing everything down. Lastly, May would like to applaud herself and her classmates for their perseverance. May will be pinned by Jade Donicello Vang, her sister-in-law and friend, who showed her the meaning of being a hardworking and compassionate nurse. Haley Van Zyl. Haley would like to thank her nursing partners through the years, her family and supportive friends. We did it. Your words of encouragement played a big role in achieving my dream of graduating. Sincerely, thank you all. Haley plans to move and begin her nursing journey in Rochester after graduation. Haley is being pinned by Michelle Tees. Sonny Yang. Sonny would like to give thanks to his family, friends, and faculty for supporting, encouraging, and guiding him through his college career. 
He would like to give a special thanks to his parents and siblings for their unconditional support they have shown him. They have served as his backbone throughout his journey. Sonny will be graduating with honors and hopes to work in a hospital in the Twin Cities in the float pool. After getting his nursing background, Sonny wants to continue with schooling and become a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. He hopes to be an advocate and resource for mental health for the Hmong community. Sonny will be pinned by Karen Canfield. Lauren Zabel. Lauren would like to thank her family and friends for being by her side through nursing school. Without their love and support, she would not have made it where she is today. In addition, Lauren would like to extend her thanks to the faculty here at MNSU for being supportive and encouraging of us, not only through a worldwide pandemic, but through the entire two years in the program. Lauren's plans after graduation is to move back to the metro area and obtain a job in a medical surgical unit with hopes of getting an ICU position within the next few years. Lauren is an active member in the Student Nurses Association and is receiving SNA honor cords. Lauren is being pinned by her aunt, Peggy Snowbrook. As we come to a close of our time together, a few final thoughts for our graduates. The world has never needed you more. Nurses across the globe are working tirelessly to alleviate the suffering caused by the pandemic. The stress, trauma, and sorrow experienced by nurses is increasing. This means that your care, compassion, and knowledge is needed like never before, not only to care for patients and families, but to support your nursing colleagues working on the front lines through the pandemic. The energy, excitement, and enthusiasm that you bring to professional nursing will be life-giving to your colleagues. Graduates, you are prepared for nursing practice. You have the knowledge and skills and the ability to face this uncertain world. Each of you has faced challenges in making sure that you have arrived here at this moment in time. And graduates, you are ready. Now go and change the world. Thank you all for coming and joining in on this celebration. We hope that you enjoy the rest of your evening and congratulations to our graduates.